If you have ever seen those really neat animated titles and text graphics in YouTube videos, you might've thought that looks pretty neat, but it also looks pretty complicated, right? Well, I can see why you might think that, but honestly, it's a lot less tricky and time consuming than it looks. In fact, by the end of this video, you're probably going to wonder why you didn't add some eye-catching and professional lower thirds and animated text and titles in Premiere Pro sooner. And hey, my name is Meredith and this is the VidPro Mom YouTube channel where I help flatten the learning curve uh, for you to create videos so that you can grow your audience and income online using YouTube. And if we haven't met before, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and I will make sure to put everything that I mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So in this video, which is sponsored by Digital Products 669, I'm gonna walk you through the complete tutorial for creating animated text and titles in Premiere Pro using their motion graphics templates, also known as Mogart files, um, in their easy to use ultimate titles pack. Now I'm gonna hop on my computer and we're gonna go step by step through this entire process, but I put a link down below to the exact ultimate titles pack that I'm using from Digital Products 669. So if you wanna work through this on your own project along with me, use that link to go grab it yourself. It's easy and I think you're gonna love it. So let's dive in. To start off here, we're going to have to download the Ultimate Titles Pack for Premiere Pro through videohive.net or the Envato Market. Now I put a direct link down in the description to this exact thing we're gonna be working with today. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my cart, go to checkout. And once I go ahead and complete this purchase, I will download the zip file here and then double click on this to expand all of the files within it. And when I expand this out, we have some help documentation, which is a great PDF readme file. And we have all of these Mogart files here. So now we need to get these into Premiere Pro and start playing around with them. Now, as you can see inside of Premiere Pro, I already have this very project pulled up here and we wanna be looking at our essential graphics panel. If you don't see your essential graphics panel, just come up over window and come down to essential graphics. Make sure this is checked. Mine is over here on the right hand side. That's just where I like to put it in my workspace here within Premiere Pro. So we're gonna come over here to browse and there's already some templates available within Premiere Pro, but the ultimate titles pack is gonna give us way more options and it's gonna be a lot cooler. So there's two ways to add your Mogart files to Premiere Pro. There's the slow way and there's the fast way. So down here on the bottom right of the essential graphics panel, I'll show you the slow way first. If you just hit this little plus button, it's going to give you the option to install some motion graphics templates, some Mogart files, but you can only do it one at a time. You can't select a bunch. And I have a bunch to install here because it's the ultimate titles pack. So instead of doing it the slow way, we're gonna hit cancel and I'll show you the fast way. So let me pull my folder back in here. So I have this in my downloads folder. We have to add it to our motion graphics templates folder for Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna minimize Premiere Pro so that you can see my desktop. Now I am on a Mac, so I'm gonna walk you through how to do this on a Mac. So follow these exact steps. So in Finder, if you come up under Go, you're gonna see some destinations that you can get to really quickly, but there's one of them that we need that's missing. So if you hit the option key on your keyboard, just like this, you're gonna have the option to click on library. So click on that. That's gonna open this up here for us and I'm going to change over to this. So we have library and then we're going to hit application support and then we're going to come over to Adobe. And from here, we are going to come over to, uh, where is it, Common. And then we're going to come over to the Motion Graphics Templates. And this folder here is the folder that you wanna add these Mogert files to. So let me just open my folder back up under Downloads. And then we have this TUTP Mogert files folder, and this is where all of our files are. So what I'm gonna do is actually right click on this Mogert files folder. I'm gonna hit copy TUTP Mogert files. That's gonna copy the folder and the contents. I'm gonna make sure I have the motion graphics templates 
folder selected over here inside of that common folder. And I'm going to right click again and select paste item. And that's going to paste the entire Mogart files folder into our motion graphics templates folder. So you can see them all here. Now we have a couple of different categories here and I'll show you what they all look like, but I want you to see everything that you get inside of this title pack because the, we have modern, we have minimal, kinetic, broadcast, vintage, wedding, slice, retro, and cartoon. These are all completely separate files, completely separate designs. So let's check these out. So back here inside of Premiere Pro, again, under the essential graphics panel, if I scroll down, you're going to see that we have a whole bunch of new fun stuff to play with added here. So we have some cartoon things. We have a broadcast set, all the categories that I just listed out. They're just all right here inside of the essential graphics panel. So how exactly do we put these to use? So some of my favorite ones are these kinetic text ones. So all I'm going to do is select it and I'm dragging it down to my timeline. So this Mogart file acts just like a regular file. You can trim it, you can cut it, you can do all kinds of things with it. But when you have it selected, you can edit this motion graphics template. You can change the colors, you can change the positioning, you can change the font and everything. But it's already animated for you. So you can kind of see what it looks like here. It's a little choppy because I am recording a screencast. So all of the text animates in and then it animates out and we can control how long we want this to stay on the screen for. So first things first, let's take a look at how to edit the colors and the fonts. So over here, again, we're still in this essential graphics panel. Uh, we can come down under text holder and this is where the text is. So we have all new, we have titles and we have for Adobe. So in this particular spot, I'm going to just do a text title here for it looks pretty complicated. Just put this right here and we're going to edit the words that actually appear on the screen. So we're going to say um, it looks and we'll come down here and under titles we'll put complicated and we'll fix that in a second and then on under here I'll put right so I'm on this uh, on my video I'm saying it looks kind of complicated right and so those are the words that I want to appear on the screen so we have it looks complicated right now we've got a little bit of a problem here right so complicated the, the text number two we need to make that a little bit smaller so right now it's at a size of 400 and we're just going to drag this little bar down here and make it however big or small we want if i wanted to change the text now would be a good time to do that and we would probably want to do it you know before we actually change the size so you can see how everything just sticks together and it uh, it doesn't make the design fall apart it's made to stick together like this um, so I think that looks all right I, I don't think I need to change anything else but if I wanted to make this a little bit bigger I guess I could I mean that looks all right um, and then down here under color controls is where we can change the color so I have a couple of colors that I usually use in my branding um, and so I want to just copy this. So my black that I normally use, we'll, we'll make this blue color into a black color. And then let's see, we have an aqua color. Let's make the background this aqua color like that. And then... Um, we have a light gray, so we can make the white a light gray. And then we got to do something different with this orange. Um, let's see. Actually, I think I'm going to make my background light gray. And then instead of orange, we'll use this aqua color for the orange. And this is how it looks so whatever your branding colors are just use them so now that i have the colors here and you can see what this looks like as it comes together 
all these words are going to be totally animated. Now that we have the colors together, I think I do want to actually edit some of these um, fonts here. All right, now we need to do a little something about the duration because right now it's at 60 seconds and I'm only saying those words for one tiny, tiny, tiny little blip. So let's check this out. So right here is where I stop talking. So we actually wanna make this right where my scrubber bar is. You can see here that we're at 10 seconds and right here we're at eight seconds. So we have only about two seconds worth that we want this to be and it's at 60 seconds long now. So we need this animation to speed up a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this all the way down here and what I might do is actually make it like four and then I'm going to make this just a little bit shorter here and we'll move this over a little bit and we'll see what this looks like. That looks pretty neat, but it also looks pretty complicated, right? Well, I can see why you might think that. So that's kind of how, how we have it going. I've got the words coming on the screen before I actually say them. That looks pretty neat, but it also looks pretty complicated, right? Well, I can see why you might. Yeah, I think that looks okay. I think we'll go with that. And again, the kinetic text is one of my favorites. There's a lot of different options here to choose from. And just, you can kind of find one that fits what you're trying to say on the screen. Now, if you wanted to do something where it didn't take up your whole entire screen, like maybe you wanted to put your name down below, you could choose one of these minimal ones over here. So this is what this one looks like. So it's just kind of like boxy. That's kind of cool. See, this would be good as a lower third instead of being just full on the entire screen. So let's just say you wanted to say, Meredith Marsh and oh, yep we're definitely gonna have to make this a little bit smaller and we'll actually make it quite a bit smaller because we're gonna make it a lower third so that means it'll be lower on the screen and then maybe off over to the side so under controls, again, we're going to fix some of these colors so that they are a little bit more on brand. Now the background has a color, but if you scroll up to the top, you can hit this box for remove background. So we can now position this using title position. We have the X and the Y, if you remember from um, middle school and high school math class. And all we have to do is change where we are on the X and the Y, and now we have a lower third. I might even make this a little bit smaller. Look how you can change the actual width of the shape, and you can also change the height of the shape itself, which is really cool, I like that. And we have this animation that comes in like this, if you can kind of see that, it kind of pushes out. So there's just this one little spot where I say, hey, this is Meredith. Now, this isn't the normal lower third that I usually use, but for this video, I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with this one, but I don't need it to be this long. So, probably right around in here. So we're looking at 32 seconds, 29 seconds. So we're looking at about three seconds long. We'll probably give this like a four here and We'll zoom out, we'll bring this in. We're just gonna kind of eyeball it. You can see over on the right-hand side of your screen, it shows me what the duration of this clip is going to be now that I have trimmed it. Um, so I think, yeah, four seconds, we're, we're pretty much good there. Now let's throw in one more here that I think I'm gonna use later on in the video. And I wanna show you the sliced ones because these are actually some of my favorite ones. This one right here, Slice 01, this is one of my favorites of this whole pack. So if you have a lot of colors in your branding and you wanna use them, this is the perfect one for you. So what we're gonna do for our text is, let's see, so we have four lines of text. So I'm gonna come under text holder and we're gonna say that's, really and we're gonna say really 
and slick. And again, with the colors, I have my own branding colors. So we have a lot to change here, but honestly, I kind of like the colors the way they are. Uh, but I think we will get uh, to a different background color. I think I'm gonna do this black background over here. And yeah, see, I really like that a lot. This is a little choppy, but basically the words come in and then they have these lines go through and then they're really colorful. So th this is a really cool one. And somewhere over here is actually where I wanted to add this in. So let's see what this looks like in real time. So once your video is done, you would export your video as you normally would and take a look. I mean, the results are really, really slick. Now to throw in an extra little pop, you could throw in a sound effect or two, which you can also find from Envato's website. Just go to the audio tab. I just searched for a pop. You could really use anything that you want here and add in those sound effects when your animated titles come up on the screen. Now that is really, really slick. Now, if you are curious about how the rest of my editing workflow works, I've queued up that very next video for you. Don't forget, I put a direct link down in the description below so that you can create these professional and really easy motion graphics templates to create your animated titles and text in your next YouTube video.